Hey guys, Chris Ellis back in our video. Today I have um, some some um, awesome um, things to show you guys. So I went to my local Target the same um, day or the same time when I got my uh, like I said, my character pack that I just I didn't upload it yet, but I just got done with it like maybe like a couple minutes ago, and um. Yeah, and now I am here to unbox one next gen 2022 NASCAR Thanks next gen die cast. Is the Ricky Stenhouse Jr.'s 2022 Kroger. And uh, yeah, a lot of you guys, or a lot of people that I know of, have unboxed this and said this is the best Ricky Stenhouse Jr. die cast ever. And I can kind of see it. I mean, you got. I mean, it's a Kroger paint scheme, sure, but this is the first ever Tay D Daughtery Racing Ricky Stenhouse Jr. car in the NASCAR Thanks line. And my first ever next-gen die cast that I'm going to open up and actually play with. And I actually have three more of them. Um, I have another Stenhouse one. For some reason, um, there was two of them, which, I mean, I'm not complaining. <laughs> it's a Stenhouse. Who wouldn't take a stun out, you know? That makes no sense. Then we got a Chris Busher. Nothing too special, but it's nice. Really nice. William Byron, that one's a nice one, too. But, yeah. um, The only thing that... The only one that we're really going to review here is the stun out slot. I would call... I, would, I wouldn't call this a NASCAR um, authentic diecast unboxing haul. I wouldn't call it a haul. But kind of close to it. I mean, we got four die casts. Two of them are the same. Uh, so, yeah, let's go ahead and unbox uh, the Stenhouse. Oh, wow. I just suggest. I just kind of. Oh, wow. That came out right away. I wonder what the card is for. And yes, I'm not, I'm obviously keeping this package. I'm trying to keep it nice. There we go. That was nice. That was beautiful. Look, look at that. That was beautiful. And now we got this car to deal with. Yes. As you guys know, I am personally, I'm not a Ricky Stiles Jr. fan, but I love Ricky Stiles Jr. Um... Um, and whether Ricky Stiles Jr. is a good NASCAR driver or not, he has some of the best paint schemes that you guys would wish. And I don't understand why Lorena Racing would do this, but Lorena Racing hasn't made a single Ricky Stiles Jr. 2021 um, die cast um, in the NASCAR Thunder sign. And they're finally doing it here in 2022. And the this is the first, the last time when we had a Ricky Stiles Jr., um, NASCAR Thanks, and the NASCAR Thanks line was the Ricky Stenhouse Jr., I think, Sunny D, or something back in 2019. That was 2019, and here we are in 2022, for crying out loud. And let's take a look at the card. I'm not going to touch the Stenhouse. Look at me. Look, I'm not touching the Stenhouse. I'm using the card. Okay. So here we got the card. This actually looks really cool, and it has Chevy. Wait, does it have... No way! So, that's actually so cool. So, you know how Chris Buescher has a Ford Mustang? Well, this one's actually a Mustang, and the Stenhouse one is a Chevy. Sadly, there is no actual Toyota paint scheme in this one. Or, this um, next-gen test car wave, the special wave, a.k.a. the special wave. But there is the actual Toyota camera, like, pace car, or something like that. Alright, let's look at the back of this car, this... The stars of the NASCAR Cup Series took the track in the fall of 2021 to pull the 2022 next-gen car through its paces. The September multi-day test at Daytona International Speedway was the first chance NASCAR had to see how multiple next-gen cars would perform on a super speedway. That's cool. Then in October 2021, on the Roval at Charlotte Motor Speedway, 21 cars took part in the first organizational test, giving the teams... The chance to tune on the new model. Wow, that is actually really cool. Uh, I'm assuming this card is the same as on all of them. 
because it doesn't even talk about Stenhouse, which I didn't expect that. I expected something like this. But yeah, that is really cool, and I hope I get a lot of views on this. All right. I'm so nervous. This is the first ever TGG Daughtery Racing for Get Stenhouse in your car. And the next jet, and I already see a pink jet. Are you kidding me? You see it? It's, I don't want to touch it. Okay, I didn't touch it. Right there. Right there. See where my finger, the top pointy finger? Right there. On the spoiler. On the spoiler. Great, Great job, Willie, now. Anyways, here we go. The first ever next gen 2022 diecast I'm ever touching. And the first ever Ricky Snaz Jr. Number 47 car for JGG Darty Racing. Holy cow, man. This is sick. Whoa, check out the back. It's smooth. The tires actually roll way better than they used to. Wow, and the, and the splinter's, like, smooth. This is a really cool die cast. The back kind of, like, curves. That's interesting. The front's kind of, like, has the bump, a big bumper. But the spoiler, man, the spoiler is huge on this one. Like, this is, like, as big as a Ford Mustang. Spoiler. Holy cow. This is a cool die cast. And the, I'm going to be honest, this side looks way more interesting. Whoa, wait. Are you telling me that inside, see this, see where that wheel is? Is that a metallic blue in there? Between this wheel and where it says Goodyear. Oh my goodness, a metallic blue. Man, this Stenhouse car is something that's not going to happen every day. Mono Racing ain't just going to put like 10 Stenhouse cars. They're only going to put in probably a few. This might be the only one that Mono Racing ever will do. But man, this is a great die cast. If you don't have any HEG Daughter Racing or Stenhouse in your die cast, you better give this one quick. Because, man, especially if you're doing NASCAR stop motion, if you want Ricky Stenhouse, this is a perfect car. It's a test car, and it's a car that can be used easily at Daytona. Or something like that. Because this car is so sick. Man, holy cow. This is a car that I would keep forever. And I'm glad that they had two, because I really wanted to open up um, a, this Stenhouse car, and, wow, I, I'm speechless, man, the tires roll good, the window frames are, like, really cool, the numbers aren't, like, aren't, like, messed up, there, I only counted one paint chip, and the bottom's flat, and the spoiler's big, and the tires roll phenomenal, this car ranked a 10 out of 10. No, actually, my bad. A 9 out of 10 just because of that paint chip. Otherwise, if that paint chip wasn't there and if there was, like, maybe, like, like maybe, like, a little more detail back here, like, it could say Kroger here on the back, I would give it a 10 out of 10. But this car gets the closest 10 out of 10 ever for my ranking. It's like a 9.99999 or something. This car is so close to a 10 out of 10. And the fact that it's a Stenhouse car, just a primary one, makes it really interesting. Oh, watch out, Stenhouse. Oh, he flipped. But yeah, um, this is a cool die cast. And if I'm going to be asked, the scalpers on eBay would probably be selling this for maybe 20 bucks. I'd be surprised if they weren't selling them for 30 bucks. I mean, the tires, like, the tires, like, roll way better. And they're, like, a little bit bigger, I think, to be honest. Well, I'm a racing definitely did a really great job. And I cannot wait if I can unbox some more, like, this William Byron or this, like, Chris Busher. I don't know if I should open up or not, or open them or not, you know? Hmm. Because this is a bonus wave. Hmm.
I am not going to open them because I already got a, I got two stem houses. And since I decided to keep one in the package or get two of them, I decided to not open these. I'm going to open just that stem house card that I already opened. But these two die casts are really cool too. They're Chris Bursar and William Barr. I can't wait. I cannot wait to see if I can get some more of these next gens. This is my first ever time holding or uh, owning a next gen die cast. And uh, let me just say, this is awesome. Holy cow. This is a nice paint scheme, you guys. So thank you guys so much for watching. There's the Kroger. The Kroger is actually really cool. Uh, I know uh, this may seem a little bit weird and confusing, but my this camera is actually, actually has like a low brightness. Oh, wait. Wait. That was weird. Right when I was about to say when this camera had a low, like a uh, low, like lighting on it, uh, the lightning just, the lighting just came on for this camera, so it shines brighter. Anyways, um, when I was reviewing this diecast, the blue looked kind of dark, but actually this blue is like really bright. It's kind of like a, I don't know, like an ocean water. Not quite a sky blue, but a little bit of darker of a blue. Uh, kind of like, kind of like the uh, blue shy guy. That's from the character packs series uh, five. Um, I think kind of like that, or maybe like, I don't know, some some that's like blue, but it's like like a brighter version of like the regular color. Just a little bit brighter. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, this actually, this is actually a perfect die, Ricky Styles Junior diecast for me. Because it may say next gen, but I'm just glad that the numbers aren't like in front. They're like, you know, they're like by the, by the driver's door or whatever, or window and stuff. Instead of like up front, more up front. So yeah, that's awesome that they did that um, instead. Because this is actually a next-gen die cast. Um, even though it's a test car, still it's a next-gen die cast. Yeah. Tires roll really good. I'm actually... Look at this. Watch, watch this, you guys. Oh, shoot. <laughs> well, that was a fail. Let me go ahead and grab it. Let me guess. Stunt house is... He landed on his wheels. Was I right? I'm closing my eyes. Oh, I was wrong. Well, he went upside down. Poor guy. But yeah, this die cast is really cool. If I look into my eyes, the Stenhouse car has something in it that's special that I don't even know. I don't know if it's because it's a Stenhouse car. I don't know if it's a because it's a 2022 Next Gen die cast. Who knows? The only thing I don't like about this die cast is that the back, the bottom's kind of smooth. But I actually like that because... Sometimes when I had my, um, like, for example, like 2021 NASCAR diecast, you know how they would wheel bad? I think sometimes it was because of all the axles and stuff. So that's awesome that this Stenhouse car has the so smooth. But at the same time, now they're going to, now when I do my next NASCAR race video, when I do the Stenhouse diecast, they're going to know right away. If they see the bottom of this Stenhouse car goes upside down, they're going to know. It's a next gen die cast. Oh wait. And it looks like the bottom's like very like weak. Actually I take that back. It just kind of snaps a little bit. It doesn't come off though because there's screws. They screw it up pretty good. There's two screws right here. So they so it holds the bottom up. And it says right here, I don't know if you guys can quite see. No, you can't. It says, oh, there we go. It says, Loina Racing, made in China. 
2022 Camaro ZL1 used under license. So that is really cool. And thank you guys yet again so much for watching. I really hope you guys enjoyed this. Comment down below if you like this video. Comment down below if you have a 2022 NASCAR X Next Gen Diecast. And comment down below if you want to see me do more of these unboxing Next Gen Diecasts. Uh, videos and uh so yeah um thank you guys so much for watching make sure you like, subscribe i'll see you guys next time bye bye